Hey everyone, Superfly Gamer Guy back here for another video, and in this one I'm going to be covering um, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. The reason why is because of the upcoming Alan Wake 2 sequel, which is coming out in October, I believe, October 23rd. So I wanted to do a little bit of a flashback, a flashback? Yeah, a little bit of a flashback to a very good game, in my opinion. And the... For those of you who don't know, the premise of Alan Wake is uh, he's a writer and he goes to uh, vacation with his wife Alice to um, a town called Bright Falls. When he gets there, however, he's doing it as because he's suffering from writer's block and he hopes that by being in a cabin that he will unlock his writing abilities, but it, he gets kind of trapped uh, in this dark place at the end of the game and this is his attempt to try and escape from it, um, which I believe goes unsuccessful. But these uh, creatures are called, um, basically they're like a dark essence kind of creature. They are uh, called the Taken. And in order to get them to be vulnerable, you have to shine your light at them. In order to get them to be more reciprocant to in another reciprocant, life, reciprocative to writer. bullets, he still practices that art, forging weapons of war. Uh, this ideas. particular um, the aspect, have the, uh, the download content, I believe it was for. No, it wasn't download content. It was a completely separate game, as it's a kind of sequel to the Alan Wake game. Um, they were going to release Alan Wake Two, but that never happened. At the time. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. So yes, as I've already mentioned, Alan is a writer. The premise of American Nightmare is, as I said previously, Alan trying to escape from the dark place, but what happens is it actually goes in a loop. The you have to the play the same safety. part the man senses of the, the game played over and over again. Begins there. You have this condescending narrator telling you things that you're going to be doing. But I believe Some that's the point. Earth, space itself has been pierced. And from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. Yes, yeah, so the main antagonist, of course, besides these creatures, is um, Alan's evil doppelganger called Mr. Scratch. Sometimes running away is the best. Okay. The game's telling me to be a coward and run away, so I'm going to. Oh dear. I've been struck by a rather burly gentleman with a axe. Um, so that's probably not going to be a, a good idea to... Um, hang around, if I'm perfectly honest. I believe this light may protect me. They've stopped pursuing me, which is good. But they're still up there. We just need to be careful. The safe haven formed by a bright light heals you. If this is a weapon, this could be of some use. Uh, three manuscript pages required. Ammunition just hanging around. And batteries. Yes, you need batteries because if you don't have batteries, you can't kill the bad guys. And there's some kind of mechanic lady here. Hey, it's you. There. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to me. Really? typewritten page. 
Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a picture so like that. I don't even know So this lady has met Alan's evil twin. So she's obviously confused. Satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well, I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm gonna deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. They hate the light. They're like, um... They're like vampires, but... Not as, um... Not as charismatic and a little bit more insane. The champion of light recognizes the page he got from a woman. It is a weapon of his own design. Aw, champion of light. To destroy the dark Thank you, narrator. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. You can toss a flashbang by pressing B. I believe this is where we meet Mr. Scratch. Oh, which is this isn't gonna be good. His evil twin's name. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. So we're going to leave that because it's probably a little bit too dark for one of my video playthroughs. So I'm going to move on. Um, find the three items for rewriting reality. We can do just that. We certainly don't want to go back to that area because that's going to be problematic. But if we have a little sprint... I think Alan gets tired of sprinting, does he? I can't recall. A little radio here. Well, here you are. About to enjoy another cool Arizona night with me, Eddie Rodman, the host with the book. The minimap in the top left hand corner. Ah, of course, yes. Follow the minimap, Superfly. Don't run around blind like a headless chicken again. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club. I know that's usually our style, but it's not going to get us very far this time. And there is a item around here somewhere. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Whoa! That was close. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? How do I throw a flare? Ah, oh, there we go. Insert battery to make sure that you can see in the dark. Hello, sir. I don't know if you know, but it's rather rude to uh, approach someone and then try and mace them with an axe. Someone should probably tell that to these guys. And I just touched my mic with my mouth. Pick up the valve. That's to rewrite reality, you'll need a valve. The valve goes in the reality rewriting machine with the reality rewriting battery and the reality rewriting starter motor. Whilst turning the reality rewriting valve, you can then change your destiny and save the world, probably. Well, before I continue with the next, ladies and gentlemen and everybody else, I want to thank you for watching this episode of ASMR Gaming, uh, Alan Wake American, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. If you like the video, please leave a like. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me if you guys have played this before. If you're waiting for Alan Wake 2 and uh, are a fan of the series. Um, yeah, if uh, you enjoy the video and you're not subscribed, please subscribe as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.